you've got to grow plants. You know, the only thing that fixes CO2, sunshine, water, into carbons, you know, are plants, because that's the only thing that converts that through photosynthesis into sugars. And now we've got to basically say, how do we get those sugars into that soil to create that sponge? And we can do it diagrammatically. So just say there's that nice grass plant that we were looking at. And it's basically fixing, you know, sun, CO2 and water. And it's making sugars. And in a sense, what we've always been concerned about, really, our whole agriculture, our whole mentality is, hey, we want to maximise you know, plant growth, maximise yield. But in nature, it's a bit more sophisticated because what matters isn't how much you actually can grow, but what happens to every gram, every molecule of sugar that you produce, right? And in nature, it's really, plants have got it pretty well worked out. They put about 40% up into the tops. They put about 30% into their root biomass. They put another 30% into your root exudates, right? These are the sugars that leach out from the roots. They feed this vast network of fungal hyphae and bacteria and actinomycetes, massive sort of networks of fungal hyphae and so forth. And really, they are the microbial drivers of productivity. 25,000 kilometres of fungal hyphae per cubic metre of healthy soils. So how long can we keep things green, alive, resilient, growing and surviving in that habitat? Only 390 millimetres of range, so it's longevity of growth. It's not how fast do we grow things, it's how long can we grow things. That's really what nature and what we have to focus on.